Hey guys, welcome back to the Gloria Living channel. My name is Hannah. It is a beautiful fall day. We are planting garlic, so let's go check it out. Guys, garlic is an amazing vegetable to grow. Not only does it add absolutely amazing flavor to dishes that you can cook for your family, but also the health benefits are just through the roof. So today we're gonna to show you how to plant and grow garlic, which is something that I think should be a staple in anyone's garden. Not only is it easy to grow, it doesn't take up much space, and it's one of those things that you can really start to grow and pretty much leave alone. It takes a long time, and that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit today. I'm gonna to give you a little bit of an introduction to growing garlic and I'm going to take you along as we plant ours. It is November here in Tennessee and it is beautiful out and the fall is really starting to take hold and we are going to plant our garlic. Garlic is a vegetable that is planted in the fall and it won't be harvested until next summer sometime in June. So it's one of those things that takes a long time to grow but it's absolutely worth the wait. So I'm going to show you how we get started with with planting our garlic and what we're gonna do. If you're wondering how garlic is grown or what a garlic seed looks like, I am going to show you. And it probably won't surprise you to find out that the seed of garlic is the clove. You have probably, if like me, bought garlic from the store, had it sitting on your counter too long, and you saw it begin to sprout green out of the tip. That is garlic just beginning on its own to grow on your counter. Guys, let me tell you something. If you have something in your house that wants to grow on its own, it's definitely something you should be growing in your garden. It's gonna be easy to grow, and it shows you just how dirty and hardy garlic is for growing. So something I definitely recommend. So if you want to grow garlic, you can do this by buying garlic from the store and breaking off your cloves. Um, garlic can also be purchased from from any type of seed organization store like Johnny Seeds, um, from Rare Seeds, which is also uh, Baker Creek, thing, places like that all over online. You can get all sorts of types of garlic, whether you want hard neck, soft neck, you just wanna do a little bit of research and figure out what will grow best in your zone. One of the great things about garlic is you can grow it year after year and save your seeds or your cloves. All the cloves that I have are in this paper bag and these are from my parents' last harvest. What they did is they saved some of the largest cloves like this honking one, right? right here from their garden. And now we are going to replant them. I'm gonna show you the proper way to do that, how to space them out, what type of environment they like to hopefully give you a successful garlic growing season. Something that is important to note is you're gonna want a very loose and well-drained soil. As you can see, this, is, this dirt is just nice and loose and fluffy. And it's something that's important for the garlic. We don't want these garlic bulbs, these cloves, to rot in the ground. And the well-drained soil allows that water to seep through to get to the garlic, but not to sit there so it gets moist and rotting. So well-drained, soft, fluffy soil is something very important. You're not going to want a super rocky soil. That's true for anything that you're trying to grow in the ground, like potatoes, onions, garlic. You do not want something that's really rocky because if they hit those rocks, it's going to impede their growth underground. So you want to make sure that if you're growing in the ground, that those first six inches of that dirt is not going to be um, rocky and getting in the way of the growth of the garlic. Raised beds are great for this. Growing in containers, great for this. As long as you give them that ample room to spread out and grow and get you nice, large bulbs of garlic. For spacing garlic, we're gonna do three rows and they're gonna be about six inches apart. And then we're also going to space our cloves six inches apart in their individual rows. So it's almost gonna be kind of squared six inches all around. Um, and that has worked really great in these garden beds at my parents' house. So for many years now. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna dig three rows of trenches. We're gonna put our garlic in and I'm gonna show you what we'll do next. If you can see in the garden bed, the three trenches that are about one and a half to two inches deep here. So this is where we're gonna put our cloves, each one about six inches apart from the other. So let's go do that. 
When we go to put our cloves into our trenches that we've dug for them, um, it is important to put the root side down, okay? So where is the root? Well, when you were looking at this clove, I'll show you, there's this end that has been cut off. This is where the root was. On the other end, you'll see, if you have this in your um, kitchen, this is where it'll start growing green out of the top. And that's gonna show you where your stem's gonna be. But this bottom part off is where the root was on the bulb that this clove came from. And we're gonna stick that facing down once again into the ground and those roots will grow from there as well again. So this is, I just love how beautiful this is that you can grow a bulb of garlic and it gives you like eight more bulbs of garlic to grow some more. So, so cool. Um, we're gonna plant these six inches apart in our trenches and then we're gonna cover them back up with dirt and there's a really important next step after that. Our garlic is all covered up in our soil, but there's some other important step we wanna take, and that is mulching our garden beds. Whether you use straw or leaves, which is what we're going to use today, you need to mulch your garlic. The reason why you want to do that is because, as I mentioned, this garlic is going to be in the ground all the way from now until June, which means it has to survive the winter. And when you live in any zone, especially the zone we are in, it is going to freeze, warm up, freeze, warm up, have that alternating between being below freezing and above freezing. And what that can actually do is push out your garlic bulb outside of the dirt. So the mulch gives it a protective layer from the frost and the freezing weather and to kind of keep it a little bit warmer and to help prevent it from popping up out of the soil and messing with your growing season. Okay, so what I have next to me is mulch up leaves. I'm gonna show you the tool that was used to mulch up these leaves, because guys, it is awesome. But um, for now, I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna use here. And this is, as you can see, really fine mulched up leaves. This is not something that, it, this is very fluffy, it's blowing. I don't even know if you can see that, but it's pretty much blowing in the wind. We're gonna put this on top. If you're going to use a mulch, remember, you want leaves grass clipping, straw, something like that that's lightweight. I would not put wood chips necessarily on top, but maybe some people do. But I think something lightweight like this is a little bit better. Just makes it easier to pop up. But hey, if you have used wood chips and had success with that, leave a comment below and let us know. We are gonna put four inches of this mulch over top of this garden bed to help it and protect it from the frost. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now that our mulch is on, our garlic has been planted, we are going to, um, normally you could water it after you've done this step. We're gonna have some rain. Since we're gonna have rain for the next few days, we won't have to water it. But if you're not gonna have rain, you're gonna wanna give it some water and uh, give it a little bit of a drink to get it going. This is going to stay in the ground, like we said, all the way until around next June, when it'll be time to pull it out. As spring approaches though, um, you may find that you need to add more mulch, that your mulch has decomposed. Um, our leaves tend to stay a little bit longer than maybe the grass clippings or the straw would, but the leaves seem to hang around a little bit longer. But if you find yourself in a place where your mulch is decomposed, it would be good to add another layer, helps control the weeds, it helps keep the moisture in for the bulb growth. As late spring approaches, which you might also find is that your plants as the stem is shooting through is going to start producing little flowers. If you see something like that, you're going to want to cut those stalks of the stems off. Um, you do not want that energy going into growing those little flowers. What you want is that energy to be shot down into growing a big, really hardy bulb of garlic for you. So not all garlic does this, but if you pick a variety that does, it's just an important note to try and give your garlic the best chance of being large and um, a really just good bulb. As summer is in full swing and you hit into June, um, you are going to see that your garlic will stop producing stems. At this point, you do not want to mulch anymore and you really want to let your garlic dry out. Now, we've left our mulch on and that's been just fine. If you want to remove it, that will help out that drying process, but you're going to want to stop watering. And as you stop watering, your garlic will start to dry and so will the soil around it. Um, if you let your soil dry around your garlic, it's going to 
be better at storing than if you were to pull it out wet. So you really want to let it dry out and stop watering it um, as June, as you get into June. And as you stop doing that, what you will see is your garlic will start to dry out and the stems will become brown and start to dry out. This drying process can bring you into July, sometimes even August. But if you let them dry out, as soon as most of those stems and leaves are dried, that is when it is time to pick your garlic. Once you pick that garlic, you're gonna lay it out in, on something that has good air circulation for about two or three weeks. And this is how you can kind of harden them in a way so that you can have a better time storing them. Make sure this area is out of the sun, it's in a shady area and where they will stay dry and not get rained on or anything like that. Ours are kept in a shed and uh, my dad has created kind of like a frame that has um, rabbit wire over the top so that the dirt and things can fall off. It has air circulation underneath. But they can lay there and dry for the two or three weeks that are necessary while also staying out of the sun and out of the rain. After two or three weeks, when you start to see them really starting to dry out, you can rub those roots off. And if you want to tie them, you can tie them and store them, or you can do other creative things with them. You could dehydrate your cloves. You could break it all apart, dehydrate them and make garlic powder or a little chunk of dry dehydrated garlic, you can do what my parents do, which I think is awesome. What they do is they take their garlic, it's a lot of work, but they take all the skins off and they mince all of their garlic. They lay them flat in baggies and they freeze them. Oh, it's amazing. When you need garlic to fry up, all you have to do is go in, break a chunk off, throw it in your pan, throw it in your hummus, whatever you need it for. I've used it for things that are not cooked, just for raw garlic as well. Um, cooking them like, we're Italian, we make garlic knots, which is like a dough tied in knots with delicious garlic and oil and seasonings on it, and it's so good. I've used it in that. It's a really amazing way of um, keeping your garlic if you don't have a good place to store it. But this is great if you wanna store it, just make sure you leave them out for those two or three weeks to dry out, and that will help them with storage. And of course, letting your soil dry out as well in the um, weeks following up to you taking them out of the ground. Those are some tips if you want a longer, better storage. You really wanna keep them dry um, in the end stages of their life as they're coming out of the dirt and as they're drying outside of the dirt. Guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something about growing garlic and help you not be so afraid to make that dive into growing such a great vegetable for your health and for great flavor in your cooking. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share the video with your friends and family. As always, please subscribe to the channel, guys. It's really the most important way and thing you can do to help support us in creating this content for you. Guys, once again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, we'll see you soon.